Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. I hope everybody's doing great today. It's Thursday, May 9th. Currently it's 64 degrees. High today 77. Chance of rain 75%. Winds at 13 mile per hour. It rained a lot overnight. Uh, it's supposed to rain today. And then I think it starts to slack off a little bit because we're going to need to mow the, mow the grass, especially uh, as close as we can get to when Joy has to go have her uh, teeth, you know, pulled. So she, she's going to be like out of commission for about a week. Uh, so uh, I did get some things done outside. I weeded some in the back. I worked on that middle bed, got it uh, squared away, put a couple bags of, um, we went to uh, Ollie's and they had a good deal on some, some uh, soil. It was Scott's soil. And I bought four of them and I took, put two of them in that middle bed. And I got two more in case the other one needs it or for other things. And um, they're just one cubic foot, but they were only $4.99. So that's not too bad really. Um, it's pretty good soil too. So I got the middle one ready, but it's all wet. I mean, I could probably get out there and plant some seeds, but, um, I got so many other things to do. I need to finish that other bed and get it ready before I really can plant both of them. I'd like to do it all at once. Uh, we'll just have to see how things go. Uh, there'll be a let's walk and talk with Kitty today. This was from a, several days ago. Um, I got backed up on my videos. I had so many opportunities to make videos. You know, I'll, I'll try to take every opportunity I can for different shows and stuff. Um, but we got a Let's Walk and Talk with Kitty. And uh, I was real tired yesterday. I, was, I think we were supposed to have the baked ham sandwiches yesterday. But we didn't because I was so tired. Um, after weed eating and doing all that too and uh, I just made I put that we had a Red Baron pizza and I put some extra cheese on it and put it in there that was the easiest thing I could do without you know having to do a whole lot so it was good though and also my you know my hands uh, my left hands not as bad as my right but um, I uh, have arthritis you know my hands and my I had to pull up. I couldn't believe how many, how much grass had grown up through all that soil. And, you know, you saw the grass on the top, but when you go to pull it, uh, if you, if you take, just take the hoe and just cut it underneath the soil, it is, it'll come right back. If you don't pull that whole root out, uh, it'll, it'll just come right back and it won't take it very long either. They grow fast. I mean, for some grass that may be like this high on top of the soil you pull it there may be a, a root this long that's really tough too i mean it's not like wimpy roots that, that stuff's tough and uh i don't know i must have pulled up probably 50 of them at least and it was hard to, to get them out really i mean you so what i had to end up doing was i was wrapping the root around i had leather gloves on but I would wrap the root around my finger and then go like this and then I'd pull it with both hands too. That's how, how far down they were. And uh, I would get them, but I didn't realize I was hurting my hand. And it's, this finger especially is swollen. I don't know how much you can tell. I hate to do that, but you can tell this one is way bigger than my other one. Maybe that way. He's, see how big it is compared to that one? And this one's the same way. This whole hand is swollen now. But. So, and it's really hurting. So I don't know how much I can do today. Planting seeds is not hard though, if I can find the time to get out there again. Uh, yeah, it's, it, I, I can't even move them without, especially this first one hurting. Uh, Joy's like, well, don't wrap them around your finger. I said, I was trying my best. I couldn't get them out. I couldn't get a, a grip on them because they were kind of slick where it had been raining and stuff. Uh, you know, underneath there, it's kind of still wet, you know. So anyway, I got to get it done somehow. <laughs> but like I said, if I just cut it off the easy way with the hope, it would just grow right back. So 
This way it'll, it'll delay it quite a bit before more comes out. Okay, our jokes today. Um, my doctor told me I have a condition known as narcosomnia, which has sub symptoms of both narco narcolepsy and insomnia. Now, wait a minute. Insomnia, you know, is staying awake. Is narcolepsy, I think that's when you fall asleep all the time. Is that it? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's what it is. Because that's probably why I always sleep with one eye open. <laughs> so. Okay. A patron at a restaurant was <coughs> continually bothering the waiter about the air conditioning. First, he would ask for the air conditioning to be turned up because it was too hot. Then he would ask it to be turned down because it was too cold. This went on for about half an hour. Uh, to the surprise of the rest of the customers, the waiter was very patient, walking back and forth and very pleasant. So finally a customer asked, why don't you just throw out the pest? Oh, I don't care, said the waiter with a grin. We don't even have an air conditioner. <laughs> I don't know of any restaurant that would have, you know, air conditioning. You know, it, so, but... Maybe. <laughs> okay, the thought of the day is from Alan Saunders. Life is what happens to us while we are making other plans. <laughs> that right? That's right. Oh, okay. Um, I thought I saw a very interesting... No, that wasn't it. Maybe this was it. Let's try this. I don't know if this is going to be. Travel the world through cities and test your worldly knowledge. Maybe this will be a little bit challenging. Sparta is a city in which country? Spain, Italy, Greece, India. I think I know. Spain, Italy, Greece, India. I say Greece. That's right. Sparta, Sparta modern Greek Spartai, historically Lacdaemon, the ancient capital of Lasonia district of the southeastern Peloponnese, southwestern Greece. <laughs> that's, that's enough of that. Okay, what city was the imperial capital of Japan before Tokyo. Sendai, Osaka, Kyoto, Yokohama. I am not really for sure, you know. Of course, Japan has an, an amazing history. Sendai, Osaka, Kyoto, Yokohama. The first thought I had was Osaka. That doesn't mean it's right. Nope, it's Kyoto. The history of the city of Tokyo stretches back some 400 years. Originally named Edo, the city started to flourish after Toku, Tokugawa Ieyasu established the Tokugawa Shogunate here in 1603. Well, that's good. Which is the most populated city in the U.S.? Seattle. Boston, New York, Chicago. Hmm. hmm. Seattle, Boston, New York, Chicago. I, I think it's New York. That's right. New York, often called New York City, is the most populous city in both New York State and the United States. With a 2020 population of 8,804,190, distributed over 300 square miles. Wow, way wow. That's a lot. In which city was Socrates born? Paris, Rome, Athens, Beijing. And I don't know, I guess this is a sculpture of him. Hey, everybody, what's happening? Okay. Uh, Paris, Rome, Athens, Beijing. I say Athens. And that's right. Socrates was an ancient Greek philosopher whose way of life, character, and thought 
exerted a profound influence on Western philosophy. Okay. What is the capital of Sweden? Uh, Stockholm, Helsinki, Copenhagen, Oslo. Mm -hmm. Stockholm, Helsinki, Copenhagen, Oslo. My first thought was Stockholm. That's right. The capital of Sweden is Stockholm. Stockholm, the largest city in the country with more than 20% of the population. Wow. And has been the center of culture, art, media, politics, and, account and economy for centuries. Stockholm is, is one of the most beautiful cities in Europe. Wow, I bet it is. Mancunian is a demonym of which city? M-A-N-C-U-N-I-A-N is the demonym, D-E-M-O-N-Y-M. -E -M. I've never even heard of that before. Of which city? Managua, Manhattan, Mangalore, Manchester, Man, Man. Mancunian, a Mancunian. Okay, Man, Manhattan, Manchester, a Mancunian. I only see that for maybe, I, I might be wrong on this one, Manhattan. No, it's Manchester, the other one I was thinking. Um, I, I don't know why it wouldn't be. They probably have something for Manhattan. Manhattanans. Mancunian is the associated adjective and demonym of Manchester, a city in northwest England. I'm a Mancunian. Which of these cities in the United States is not a state capital? Phoenix, Arizona. Lincoln, Nebraska. Columbus, Ohio, Seattle, Washington. Ooh. Lincoln, 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 Lincoln. Phoenix, Arizona, Lincoln, Nebraska, Columbus, Ohio, Seattle, Washington. I'm really not for sure. I want to say Lincoln for, for some reason. Nope, it is Seattle, Washington. Uh, Washington is bordered on the west by the Pacific Ocean, Oregon to the south, Idaho to the west, and the Canadian province, province of British Columbia to the north. And Olympia is the state capital. And I didn't know that, so I learned something there. Four right, three wrong. Which two cities from Minnesota are known as the Twin Cities? Minnesota City and Lakeville, Duluth and St. Cloud, Minneapolis and St. Paul, Bemidji and Maple Grove. Two cities. Minnesota City and Lakeville, Duluth and St. Cloud, Minneapolis and St. Paul, Bemidji and Maple Grove. I want to say Minneapolis and St. Paul. That's right. The Twin Cities, as the name says, are indicative of the two largest cities, Minneapolis and St. Paul. These two cities built around the rivers Mississippi, Minnesota, and St. Croix Rivers are the hub of urban and industrial activities. I got five right and three wrong. Two more. New York City is known as the city that never does what? Drinks, yawns, sleeps, eats. I thought never yawns. I thought it was, um, I've heard this before, but I thought it was uh, some, some other city. Drinks, yawns, sleeps, eats. Uh, I guess I'm gonna guess sleep, but I thought that was for like Las Vegas or something. Yeah, that's that's right. But I, I don't know why I was thinking it was Las Vegas. That was that. Uh, New York City is known by many nicknames, such as the city that never sleeps or Gotham, 
but the most popular one is probably the Big Apple. How did this nickname come about? Although uses of the phrase are documented in the early 1900s, the first term first became popular in the 1920s when John J. Fitzgerald, a sports writer, started a column about horse racing called Around the Big Apple. Why do they keep going on around the, about the Big Apple? It was supposed to be a city that never sleeps. Okay, whatever. <laughs> One more. What are the two cities in A Tale of Two Cities? Hmm. It shows a, a picture of, in the book or something. Uh, New York and Boston. London and Paris. Rome and Paris. London and Sydney. Tale of Two Cities. Oh, man. New York and Boston. London and Paris. Rome and Paris, London and Sydney. I want to say London and Paris. That's right. A Tale of Two Cities is a historical novel published in 1859 by Charles Dickens set in London and Paris before and during the French Revolution. Okay, I got seven right and three wrong today. These weren't, uh, these weren't exactly super easy, but they were easier than the ones from yesterday. <laughs> I had a hard time with them kind of yesterday, but uh, seven and three, not too bad. I got some learning in, uh, store that somewhere where there's no cobwebs, I hope. So <laughs> anyway, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's trivia time and morning coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody check out Let's Walk and Talk with Kitty. I haven't been able to for a few days because of rain here and there and doing so many other things. So um, she doesn't understand. She just wants to go out. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you all have a great day and God bless.